After Ecuador, we jumped on a bus that took us to Peru, with uh, one stop in Trujillo. The bus ride took about 41 hours in total. We had to wait in Trujillo for seven hours, so we did the best of the situation. Most of the time, though, we spent under the surface, but in the end we got some really good waves. We are on our way to um, Huascaran, our second uh, adventure mountain on this trip. <laughs> the weather looks really bad. Um, but um, in a few days, um, the forecast says it's going to be pretty good, so we're hoping for that. It's raining a lot, and this mountain is famous for being really dangerous for avalanches. You can see all of, on the whole approach up to our uh, camp right now, there are memorial signs of people who died in avalanches which uh, make you think uh, quite a lot on the way here and especially when it's raining. Good work Bjarne! How are you feeling? Tired and good. Can you feel the altitude at all? Yeah. Like always. Inside me and I know it's good. But understanding is misunderstood. At the end of a smile, there's a laugh in the head. It's breakfast time on Huascaran, our own little mountain this autumn. Last time someone was here, we said in the guest boot down in Mushu was uh, in uh, mid-August. When Bjarne still could feel the altitude, I decided to give the mountain a try on the third night. But about half an hour into the attempt, a really bad gut feeling started building up and I turned around. It turned out that two hours later, when I was back and safe in the tent, a big serac fell down just where I was supposed to have passed around that time. I always follow my gut feeling, and I have learned that it got deeper knowledge than we can imagine. Okay, second try. Let's see if we can find a way this time, and not getting uh, serac <laughs> I've been uh, working my way up here, uh, it's been taking six hours, but then I've been building a way as well, uh, self belaying crevices and uh, making a track that's hopefully going to be easy to follow in one or two days starting in the night.
40 minuter, 600 höjdmeter. Där man här uppe när klockan är sex. Och man har 14 timmar på sig. It's a rest day and uh, tomorrow is the time for this guy. And um, yeah, I'm lying here <laughs> and eating and drinking and <clears throat> listening to Lars Winnebeck for the moment. I work in the porridge. It's the last night in camp. Uh, the weather is looking really good. We are running out of simply everything here. Food, uh, gas and uh, motivation I guess as well. Uh, we've been here for a week and uh, yeah, tomorrow or this night I'm gonna try uh, to uh, go for the top. Bjarne being um, uh, sick from the altitude have uh, changed quite a lot on this uh, Huascaran adventure. Um, what would have been an easy uh, expedition style attempt uh, uh, have now made it uh, like change to an alpine style strategy which is pretty different. Uh, I will have tomorrow about what is it, 16, 1700 vertical meters uh, with all the equipment on my backpack trying to negotiate my way through the Serax and then climbing a grade D 600 meter ice wall and um, yeah, I think this is going to be the big crux of the whole South America adventure especially psychologically being on the mountain by yourself in the dark and I know I'm going to be really, really tired. Okay, let's go up and breed some. It was an overwhelming feeling starting up something this big by myself in the night. As I had a good track to follow through the Serax, the thing that scared me was only if I was going to have the energy to track the upper parts of the mountain in knee-deep snow and then come back again safely. On the last few hundred vertical meters, I had to plunge into the unknown and trust I was as strong as I had hoped. We're at 5'8". Just done some 65, 70 degree ice climbing. Now we're going up here. That's the shield at the horizon. When you get to that rock at the top, it's just a easy ridge. But first, we'd have to get there. I'm on the summit ridge, 6,200 plus meters, and I'm tired, and it's hard to breathe. I'm at the summit of Peru's highest mountain, Huascaran Sur. It's been a really long day. And I don't know if I've been more tired than this. And I'm only halfway. Getting down is as hard. What a day. Bjarne, kom, Bjarne, kom. Bjarne, här kom. Nu borde du se mig, jag är på aretten på väg ner. Ja, men kör, kör på det du känner dig säkrast på. Det spelar ingen roll om jag missar det eller inte. Liksom. Det är, kör på det som känns bäst. 
Should hold come please? Even though I know, Andreas knows what he's doing. It was a little bit worrying to see him moving around seem so small compared to the huge Serax and the big face. Sometimes he disappeared, only to appear a few hundred meters further down sometime later. Me gusta reggae, 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 me gusta reggae. Era una peruana que se fue al extranjero, estuvo mucho tiempo, quizás algunos años. Un día la encontré caminando por la calle, me habló de de guainos y tonderos Me dijo con nostalgia Añoro nuestra tierra De música bonita Picante y criolla That was one of the hardest days in my life I had to rest three times to walk up three meters there in the end. Like that, in After a week on the glacier, we are done with the uh, Huascaran. Right now, we're gonna enjoy some great skiing. Me gusta reggae, me gusta reggae.